my truck is turned into my songwriting studio. It's where it's just me and my guitar on the road in my truck. The songs just started to come out of me. Write songs and love it. Maybe that's what I need to put across the windshield as a creative incubator. <laughs> hey there, <laughs> it's working. We're yeah, rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. <laughs> so, you know, driving for Crete, we have the opportunity to come to the terminals. And what we think is really interesting is the people that we meet. And we met somebody super interesting today. This is Matt Evan Johnson. Howdy. American, American <laughs> music artist. And so he agreed to grace you with some of his music that you write yourself, right? Yeah, I write these songs myself. I'm a singer-songwriter. And you... I keep my acoustic truck, or acoustic guitar, acoustic truck. The acoustic I keep truck my acoustic, on the guitar. Yeah, <laughs> I keep my acoustic guitar in my truck, and my truck has really become my songwriting studio. Yeah. It's where I write my songs. So can you tell us how you ended up in music, and in a truck? Oh, yeah, it's, well, it's quite a long story, but I'll make a long story short. I was really looking for a backup plan for my life. What got me into trucking is the, the steady income paycheck. And a uh, truck, I'm single, and a uh, truck has an income and a bed. It's really that simple. <laughs> so uh, that's the reason I got into trucking is, uh, and also seeing the country, you know, getting out. I really didn't expect it to be a a songwriting studio on the front end of getting into trucking, but it, it quickly evolved into that within a few months. And as a matter of fact, that's where I'm going to go with this. What we're doing, um, I'm going to bring you the, uh, the, the the first song that I wrote in the truck. So, so which, the truck is your muse. What now? The truck is your muse. Yes, it is. That's cool. Um, I was in, I, we're in Texas right now, not far from Dallas, and uh, I remember uh, I was in Texas, um, more over toward the Lindale area, when the song, when this, when this song really just started gelling in my head, and within a few days I had it written. But it's the first song. The reason I wanted to bring it to you, it, it is actually the first song that I wrote in the truck, trucking, which started a whole new direction of life for me. And, and I'm gonna put the link to your website down in our description so people can yeah, check thank it out. You. Yeah, yeah. MattEvanJohnson.com. Yeah. Cause a honky tonk's talking to me. 
Yeah, I really, it really has been a phenomenal thing for me because I didn't expect it. Um, prior to trucking, I was more of a, a hired hand, hired gun musician, mostly a bass player, and I was hired to back other artists uh, in recording studios or on live stages, and I, I floated around a lot as a musician. And I never really, I had made attempts at songwriting in the past, but for some reason it just didn't, you know, gel with me at the time. It wasn't that, until I got into a truck, into an 18-wheeler and alone out on the road, and I really attribute it to the isolation. Not, I'm not saying isolation is a bad thing. It was actually a good thing in this case. What I'm getting at is I needed to get away from all of the distractions. Mm -hmm. And when I got away from all of the distractions where it's just me and my guitar on the road in my truck, for some reason, I said it was kind of phenomenal because it really was with me as well. The songs just started to come out of me. Yeah. And so I, my truck has turned into my songwriting studio. It's where I write my songs. I really don't feel comfortable writing. I really, I, I, for some reason, the 18 wheeler, that truck, you know, being on the road in an 18 wheeler is special to me because it's the place that I can really get out my guitar and do what I would call my art, write songs and love it. Mm -hmm. And actually, I get a lot of ther therapy out of it. <laughs> yeah. I think you know, people out there watching the video can understand what I'm, what I'm saying or getting at. I, it, it, the isolation is not a bad thing for me. Right. I'm, I'm out in nature. It's and, you know, yeah. Yeah. I see. I get to see the, the country and the mountains and the fields and and as I'm driving down the road, just probably as a normal thing as anybody, I get these ideas flowing in my head. And being a musician, they flow into my songs. Mm -hmm. and, it's like, you're, uh, like a creative incubator. In creative ideas. incubator. <laughs> <laughs> can we hear? Can we maybe, hear? <laughs> maybe that's what I need to put across the windshield: is creative incubator. This is not an eighteen wheeler. <laughs> This is a creative incubator. Can you do one more song for us? That'd be awesome. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm a lucky man. I have a few good friends and a beer in my hand.
lucky man. Woo! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Here's our audience. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all. That was appreciate that was really great. You have a lot of talent, thank really. You. So, do you do, other than in terminals at Creep? Do you do live shows, or can people book you for events? Like, what do you? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, you can find me at mattevanjohnson.com, and I'm available for booking events and uh, private events. Uh, and also, uh, I, I'm known to show up at open mics. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So um, I enjoy open mics because it gives me an opportunity to get out there in front of new people and, and, uh, and make some friends. And uh, I've been at open mics in various cities around the country. And if I have time off from trucking, oftentimes that's what I'll do is try to go hit an open mic and surprise people. Most of the time, they don't know who I am. <laughs> but sometimes they do. Sometimes I get recognized. But yeah, the best way to reach me is through my website, mattevanjohnson.com. Uh, my phone number's on there, and uh, you can call, text, or send me an email. Great. And like I said, I'll Love put it down. I'll, I'll put it down in the description. Um, so hey, do you want to do? All good things are three. <laughs> you want me to yeah, do another? I one? want you to do another <laughs> one. Absolutely. <laughs>
that thank you so much. was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. Madam and Johnson, thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to say my own name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, we're, we're honored with a private concert. That's, that's awesome. Thank you. And I do, yeah, I do have a full show. People. If people often approach me about doing shows like you were asking me about doing, you know, can I be hired booked or whatever for mm -hmm. shows, and yes I can. And the way that I've set myself up is I can really do 30 minute, 45 minute, hour long show or even go an hour and a half if you want me to. You've uh, got you've got a good I've repertoire, all, all your own songs. And yes ma'am. Uh, yeah. st <laughs> that's awesome. That thank is you. awesome. Well yeah. thank you so, so much. I try to be entertaining. <laughs> it was. It was really great. You have so much talent and like I said, amazing who you meet at a terminal and what a pleasure today to meet you and I'm really glad to introduce you to all our viewers out there on the joy of trucking. So thank you. Thank you. Get some comments down below. Let's hear it from Matt Evans. Yeah, Johnson. Them. Clapping hands. Yeah, yeah, some clapping hands. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you down the road. <laughs> Bye for now. With love from Kevin and Tanya and Matt Evan Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> and keep those wheels rolling. <laughs>